we're going to look at how to do a manual stock count session, create one and then count the stock in X3, version 12. I have a process flow here, so I'm going to use this. First step is going to be create stock count session. So the session basically tells it what I'm going to count, where, where, what, etc. So I'm going to create a new session. I'm going to select the site. These are all specific for site. CDC is going to be stuck by site. Annual stock count. So I'm going to select this to be by locations instead of by product. Base, for this customer, I have two locations set up. There's only two locations. One is stock, one is picking. So I want to count everything in stock and ignore what's basically in picking. So I select by location. I can cl click a sort order here by product location or location product. I'm going to stick with location product. And then uh, you can see I, I can't put any product information here, just location, sort by location type, location, formula, BP, etc. So I'm just going to use location as stock. And I'm going to save. So I've created the session, but I haven't generated it yet. You see down here, there's no list generated. So I can simulate. This will tell me what it's going to put on the list. Okay. So it's going to create one list of one location. It's found three stock lines and three stock count lines. Now there's some other options in here as you have more and more products that we have in inventory that can become useful maximum number of lines, um, you can create multiple lists or separate by product. So we're just going to stick with generating one list now since there's only three items. Next step is to then generate. So we generate the list and now there's a list here. You can see there's three lines to be counted and the stock is locked. So now I can't do anything with the stock. can't make deliveries or anything That's so I can control what I'm counting. So this has to be planned and organized. So the next step is to go out of this function and actually do the count. So back to my dashboard. Next is going to be count the stock in session. Because it's locked right now, I need to get this done. So you see this stock count session 15 and count number 18. I've got three items here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over here and I can now enter my actual values. Now there are several reports you can print, um, not out of here, but in the previous screen to where you can get a printout of what to count. I'll circle back to that. So, um, so I'm going to tell it um, what I've actually counted right now. So you see there's various units I should stock pack, counted stock pack. This is the column we want, or counted. So I'm going to say, okay, we actually have 173 of these. I'm going to say we have 80 of these. I'm going to say we have 4.35 of this. And those are rolls. Each is each is in rolls. I'm going to save. Now, for some reason, I needed to release the stock during the count. I could release it. It's not recommended. Then the next two steps are to validate that posts the stock to the journal, creates the stock transactions, if you will, and then closing. Closes the session. So I'm going to validate and then close. Now, if I come back and I look at one of my products, for example, One of these was in the list. Go to product site. It's CDC, so I know this was on the stock count. And I'm going to look at, um, well, you can select counts. You can see the counts that were done. So you have count history, these adjustments. I'm going to show you the last count here, etc. And then I can look at my stock. 
it shows I have 4.75 rolls. And if I go onto the right list here, I can I can actually look at the movements. And it'll show what happened here. So the last three movements for this were stock count sessions. And that concludes how to create stock count sessions and count the stock.